Alrighty guys, working my way through the pile. This is a package from Ryan. It's been sitting around here for about a week. I feel guilty, but I'm going to finally get around to opening it up. Let's see what's inside of this thing. Ryan, I'm sorry it's taking this long, but uh, meh, life happens sometimes, I guess. And good weather, too. Okay. The keys look like they are mummied. I don't know what that is. You don't need no stinking keys. He's right about that. We don't need no stinking keys. Uh, looks like a Yale keyway. And something exotic looking. Come out of there. Okay, a gatehouse. So we got a quick set copy. And I'm sure that this is not uh, standard pinning. And a lock I've never seen before. The Arco. Lock. Arco 7, Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. Isn't that something? A lock made in the States. There's your, the Bible. So, this ought to be interesting. I have no idea how this thing works, fellas. Oh, we got a note. Get all this stuff out of the way. I'm going to open this out of camera, just in case his address is on it. Okay. Uh, hey, Bill. Here's a few locks I've been able to pick up on eBay. Um, seen all your videos by now, or at least a good majority. Uh, oh, haven't seen you get your hands on a document bag. You know, I've been thinking about that at work. I just thought about bringing one home. I, I bet this is from a document bag. Isn't that interesting? Uh, epically challenging. Small keyway and seven pins. No spool pins or serrations. Uh, it took me longer to pick than I'd like to admit. Uh, the KW1 keyway is my challenge lock to you. It's one of those uh, so crappy it's hard locks with a few of my own additions. And the final cylinder is the most difficult keyway I've ever been able to get my hands on. Had a lot of fun with it. So that would be the Yale with the very twisted tail up there on the end. Okay, once they're defeated in the lock lab, you can pass them on to the next guy. So this would be the, his challenge lock. So let's put that aside. See what he's pinned up inside of this thing. A gatehouse. I always love it when we take these inexpensive uh, lock bodies and then we put something inside of it and it's a real cool way to pass locks on from one guy to the next and without a whole lot of expense of buying medicos and stuff like that. Alright, let's see if we can find a tension wrench that'll fit this thing. Alright, this is the fat one and it's still pretty floppy. Alright, I'm going to use a 15,000 standard hook. No, I'm not. I'm going to use a stand. I'm so used to grabbing that. This is a wide keyway. I'm going to go ahead and use this nice fat 25,000th. See what we got here. A little bit of tension. See if I can find a binder. It's pin 3. Pin 2. Okay, we got a little bit of a false set going. That was pin 4. No feedback. Nothing. No counter rotation, so... I'm thinking serrated. But he says no serrated. So crappy it's hard. I've got two binders. Pin two and pin four. I'm going to go with pin four for no particular reason other than I happen to be on him. No counter rotation. Oops. That was nothing picked. My pick just fell off of the uh, key pin. Okay, I'm on pin two. I'm going to go ahead and take a chance. He's the only other binder I got to work with here. Pin one is all the way down, but he doesn't give any indication. Him on pin two again. He just. I don't know. 
I'm not sure if that's feedback or if I'm just torquing on the core itself. Okay, I'm on pin 5, and he's set, I believe. There's no indication that he wants to be picked. All right, I'm going to go with 1. I'm going to try to force him back off a little bit. Oops, not that much. Nothing. Wow. Okay, so not so much luck. What I'm going to do now is go with a little bit deeper hook. My theory is that maybe something is really high uh, cut and that standard hook is just not reaching him. Maybe he's hiding behind somebody. Okay, I'm going to go with one. I'm going to release a little bit of tension. Okay, I got him to click, but I'm not sure that's a good thing. I've lost the fault set. Now I've overset him. All right. Let's try to pick him in the opposite direction this time. Pin 3, I'm getting counter rotation. This is a heck of a gatehouse here, Ryan. Okay, that was one. Unbelievable. Come on, pin five. He may be set. I'm getting a little tiniest bit of feedback. Let's go ahead and loosen up and force him up in there. At this point, I'm thinking we got some asset pins. Okay, I got a fault set out of it now. I'm lightening up on the tension with the assumption it is an ASA. A little bit of rotation on five again. Counter rotation on five again. Come on, baby. Counter rotation on five again. I'm on three, counter rotation, barely. I even hate to call it counter rotation. I'm going to lighten up a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we got him.
Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed this one first, huh? I am looking now at his YouTube screen name off the side and bottom of that letter. It is R.R. Locksmith. So, we got a locksmith <laughs> sending me stuff. This could be big trouble. <laughs> Very deep fault set now. Pin four, counter rotation. Looks not. It's all those asses. Eh, it doesn't want to go. Try him again. He's definitely given counter rotation. Oops. Six or five again? Good Lord. Three. I'm going to take up painting or basket weaving or macrame. Let me drag something, or set something, and try to drag it down. Light tension, sometimes you can get it to fall back down. Got our fault set back. Pin three. Let's see if anybody else is talking to us. Yes. Pin five. In four. There we go. Jesus Christ, what a gatehouse! Woo! All right. I gotta know what's inside of here, fellas. I know we're at 12 minutes, and I'm sorry. Actually, damn near 14 minutes. I have to know what our, our locksmith put in here. So this is gonna be one of my longer videos, and I apologize for that. But uh, hard locks take a lot of time. Okay, let's get this clip off. Okay, so that is just going to pop out of there. That's not right. And I have... Crap. Where are my hollow followers? Alright, no idea where they are. I've already wasted enough time. I'm going to just pop this out. We're going to assemble it backwards like we've done before. So the key pins, I don't want them to fall out. So I'll keep them on top. And I guess we'll just push this out until those drivers come down. Really well organized here today. Did not expect a super hard lock to come through the door. All right, it is a spool, that's it. Another nasty spool came out of a Schlag kit, it looks like. Another spool. No ASA pins, fellas. Mm. 
Come on. Another spool. And another spool. That's it. Just spools. Okay, let's see what we got here. Five pins. Got a little weirdness going on there. I have no idea what this linear thing is. Probably a machining for convenience is my guess. And I bet you these are all standards. You got a super long cut. So we had to fight our way under that one and then there's a little short one hiding behind him. Another long one, another short one hiding behind him, and then a medium one in the back. Fellas, I don't know why this was so hard, no clue. But for a gatehouse lock, this is probably the hardest KW1 keyway I've ever come across. Uh, all spools, different lengths, but spools nonetheless, that's all they are. And then the uppers, the only challenge was we had uh, a gatekeeper on the front, so a very long pin with a short one hiding behind him. Another long one with a short one hiding behind him and then a medium one kind of in the back. So we had to reach up in there. That's what caused me to have to reach for that deep hook. Anyway, I'm sorry this took so long. 17 minutes, our locksmith, awesome lock. Uh, I hope the rest of them are, quite, are not quite like this. Everybody else stay safe. Gentlemen, stay legal. Stay away from gatehouse.